I'd like to ask you, uh, Kenna, in yes. terms of the functional medicine uh, approach in a in a in a physical medicine type of practice, what kind of questions are you asking that are related to the joint musculoskeletal issue that that kind of go out to the extreme of other physiological areas of the body? We ask about you know, headaches. A lot of times, people don't realize that headaches can be associated to joints, but they can also be associated to other issues going on in the body. We ask about aches and pains. Um, reoccurring pain is another thing um, like arthritis a lot of people have it in their hands and their knees things like that we really want to know the specific joints we want to know how long it's been going on we want to know if your mother had it if your father had it if family history okay. yes definitely it's a huge part of it and most people don't realize that they they just kind of brush off family history most of the time, I realize. They think that... You, you know, well, let me interject there because one of the things is is that the number one thing that determines your 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 predisposition for arthritis, genetics. Right. Genetics. Uh, what the number one thing that determines your ability to have diabetes, genetics. So the number one thing to have neurological disorder, we're finding that genetics predisposition. The world of genomics is coming in. Uh, people are understanding the sciences of genomics and how we can relate that. But now the world of nutritional genomics comes in where you actually change or you help or assist the body recover through nutraceuticals and nutritional changes. So it is, again, irresponsible to believe that biomechanical issues have no relationship to the, to the intestinal, to the, to, the, to the world of whatever comes in your mouth, so to speak. So we have to see that. Now, and Trudy, thank you so much because it matters to us, your information. And, and I, I guess, is this available to anybody? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, thank God for the now and age that everything that it's a way, you know, you just touch and information is right at the touch of your fingers. But it's certainly available and it's extremely, extremely affordable. Um, it's certainly it will be more affordable to invest a little bit of not just your time, but change your lifestyle that versus having to invest in dialysis the rest of your life for thousands of dollars. Plus, another thing that I wanted to just put a uh, set a point, you know, talking about uh, what sets us aside. Um, one of the things that we all do as uh, in our clinic, we all go through a detox program. So that way, when our patients are being exposed to a detox program, we can certainly let them know firsthand experience. This is where you're going to be experiencing. This is what you should take it. So all of our staff knows what they're going to be experiencing when they go through a detox and they know exactly what to eat. So it's not just one person that is going to be familiar with this type of information. You know what? Information is power today. That's the bottom line. Um, we have also today our chief editor and the one who actually tries to connect with the public about what it is that we offer okay, and what we do in the office. But a lot of times is that when you see words, you see them from a, from a, from a kind of a, a, a research document. Uh, well, you know what? There's a lot of research that's being done. We use the top researchers' uh, zones in, in, in the world. It's the NCBI. Uh, what people know that is, is PubMed. Uh, to find out the newest research and we apply what works and what is really relevant to our patients from ketogenic diets to dieting to to different types of uh, of intermittent fastings from fastings have uh, there's a science in 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 all these types of paleo foods so a lot of there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of misinformation let's not let's not say that every report that gets out there one report says one thing one one weeds out the other thing but we're connected with a lot of really really great researchers at the university of texas and along researchers that we use at the national university of health sciences where these these researchers are actually finding out what actually works around the world and actually seeing what actually holds up through these studies through you know retrograde studies or anterograde studies a uh, forward you know assessment studies or meta studies we can actually assess in we have here uh, a state who actually handles a lot of those things and what we do is we teach people tell us a little bit about what you do with you do and in terms of the research that you find all right well um as as you, as you mentioned um information is very important like just the the more you know you know the more you know the more you you know what's important to learn and as the chief editor you know my my purpose my main pur purpose uh uh is to really help educate people on a variety of health issues uh pretty much within the scope of uh of chiropractic care you know uh uh m my purpose is really to uh 
to write uh, and curate articles and publish these articles uh, so that uh, patients, so that the people that uh, are, have, uh, you know, health, is- health issues like, like neck pain, like back pain, sciatica, and pretty much anything associated with, with uh, inflammation since uh, inflammation is uh, <laughs> kind of the big topic yes. here right yes. now. And uh, because just just learning and, and knowing is, is very, very important. And you, you know, if I may, um, one of the things that I've noticed is that when you write something, one of the things, just like a, uh, a, a refinery, uh, it starts out with a crude, right? What we got to do is that crude is useless in cars. We have to distill the information, okay? And what I mean by distilling, we have to take out what's worth the information and how does this apply to a particular mm-hmm. public. So oh, yeah. Astid does this a lot, and what she establishes is the points that are important for people to take away, the takeaways, uh, the points that matter in, in, in